Hello and welcome to uh, my next patch video where I'm going to cover 12-15 in retrospect. We're going to look back at the most common matchups that occurred during 12-15. Um, I've had a lot of new subscribers over the last couple months here. Um, I've been doing these kind of videos all year long since spring even. Um, just looking back at what happened throughout the patch, what the most common matchups were. Obviously, there are thousands of to infinite amount of variables that could go into why a matchup goes the way it does. Player diff, team diff, jungle proximity, itemization, ruin choice, the list goes on and on and on, right? So the way I look at it, we're just looking at it from, you know, a wide lens, looking at it from the back, you know, how is, uh, how did this matchup go, right? Um, I only really look at matchups that occurred more than 10 times. 1215 occurred um, in only three of the four major regions. So we have limited um, games to use. However, it turned out okay. We have a matchup at least in each um, in each role to look at, and other ones that you know happened under ten times that we can also discuss. Uh, in the uh, description, you're gonna find three links: Twitter, follow me there; Discord, join us. We have a couple things going on for Worlds. We have a pickums. We have a player pool. Read the rules and uh, participate if you would like. Um, YouTube memberships, $3 to support me. You get a little badge in the comment section when you comment and it helps me out and keep the channel alive. Um, $10 will support me much more, I guess, but you also get more content. You will get extra videos, um, a couple of week, probably. I mean, I'm not going to promise a couple of week because I think actually this week there's only going to be one, but, um, extra content in the way, well, there will be two extra content in the way of, um, league predictions who I think are going to win games, that's extra content. Um, who I think is going to win NFL games, American football is extra content, and fantasy football rankings will be there as well. So that's that. Now looking back at 12-15 top lane, we had 26 different top laners picked. That I think is the same amount from 12-14, which is 26 as well. Uh, Malphite being the 26th one last night, picked by 100 Thieves. Aatrox versus Renekton was the most common matchup. We saw that 13 times Renekton coming out ahead, 62%. I think it was 8 to 5. Um, so it's pretty even. I mean, Renekton is hit or miss as a champion. We saw it, especially in the LPL. It kept getting gapped. Um, and we've heard some people say, well, if you're a better player, Renekton's fine and this and that. But I I mean, Renekton's kind of underwhelming for me. Um, Orin versus Renekton, we saw 9 times if Aatrox was not picked. And we... Um, what would happen is, obviously, if a player's like, well, I'm going to probably lose the matchup. I'm not as good as the player with the Renekton. Instead of matching Aatrox versus Renekton, they'd pick Orn. Or maybe they first pick Orn and then get responded to by Renekton. Because, I mean, Orn is going to lose lane but have a lot of value later on. We know Orn scales better than most. Um, Kennen versus Nar. Um, this happened in a different kind of situation. I mean, if you picked Nar, maybe somebody would pick Kennen. Kennen is the uh, AP option in top lane right now, um, as well as Gwen, who was picked into Orin seven times also. So if Renekton wasn't banned, I mean, if Renekton was banned or teams didn't want to pick it, we started getting into the nitty gritty of, okay, if you picked Orin, I'll pick Gwen into it. Kennen versus Nar, another option. Um, in the jungle, we have uh, a clear meta here of 19 champions picked. Um, Trundle being the top pick, Wukong being the secondary pick. I mean, we all knew that watching the games, right? But in hindsight, Trundle actually was very dominant. Um, some people don't like Trundle, but the proof is in the pudding when it comes to win rates. Um, Trundle beat Wukong 63% of the time in 19 matchups. And then Trundle got by Poppy 9-7, to seven, I think. So really coin flip. Um, but was ahead, right? 9-7. to seven. So when push came to shove, if you picked Trundle and uh, Wukong was up, if they picked Wukong into Trundle or let Trundle go to red side and picked Wukong or picked Poppy, you're better off. Um, obviously, team comps play a big role into that, but over the aggregate, you were okay with picking Trundle. Um, we saw some teams really thrive with Trundle. Razork and Fnatic specifically, you took it away and they struggled, right? Um, Vi versus Wukong. We saw Wukong win that 7-3. to three, Pretty one-sided. Vi coming out of the meta now. Um, and Sejuani versus Wukong because Sejuani has moved from a top pick to a jungle pick. Still can be flexed to top and once in a great while support. But um, more so being picked in the jungle now. And uh, 
I mean, it was a common matchup into Wukong when Trundle was banned. Um, that was kind of the way it looks here because Vi just was losing outright. I mean, Vi is not a pick. It's not a really good pick right now. I mean, she was okay, but now people have kind of figured out how to play against her and work around it. Mid lane, we only had one matchup similar to top lane. This happens with solo lanes, obviously. Um, 24 mids were picked. Lissandra versus Ari is the only ha thing that happened double digits. Lissandra coming out ahead 58% um, of the time. I think they went 7-5 and five, um, on the Lissandra. So obviously Lissandra's been an Ari counter for a very long time. And most recently it started at MSI and it has continued throughout summer. Um, obviously hit or miss depending on the patch. Later on this week I'm going to have a cumulative video where I go over all of summer in this format. And um, I wouldn't be shocked if Lissandra Ari was on there because it has been a matchup we've seen all summer long to some degree. So cumulatively, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the top five most common matchup. Um, I mean, a lot of people just pick Lissandra into it. It's, a, it's a, you know, it slows the Ari down, uh, you know, but it doesn't offer a ton in um, damage. Obviously, team fights, it has value with its um, CC and things like that, but, you know. Uh, most common matchups otherwise, Azir versus Ari, Silas versus Ari. Trun, uh, Talia versus Azir, um, you know, all alternating versus each other. Silas versus Azir was not a most common matchup. Silas actually went 4-0, and so I imagine people don't really like Azir into Silas. Silas was a very strong pick, um, so it got banned a lot. Um, and it was kind of like, okay, we're leaving Ari up. What do you want to pick against it? Some people pick Lissandra, Azir, and Silas. Um, Azir also was first pick at times as well, or ban. And uh, obviously people were willing to pick Ari into it and Talia into it. So the mid lane meta was pretty clear that it was Ari and Azir versus whatever you want to do. Silas, Talia, Lissandra. So bot lane, um, most clear meta. Uh, once again, last time uh, support was this way actually. And I think bot lane was as well. Um, leaving si leaving um, Sivir and Zeri up would result in a handshake. 52 times we saw Sivir versus Zeri, the Jinx of Felios of Summer. Uh, Zeri coming out ahead 54% of the time. So this is um, flipped from 12-14 where we saw Sivir actually have the edge over Zeri. In 23 matchups, Lucian had the edge over Zeri. Lucian winning 57 matchups, I think 13 to 10. So, and we've seen that. I think I've, I think Lucian had the edge on Zeri in past patches as well. Um... You know, when the Lucian Nami really gets going, if you've banned the Yumi, all of a sudden you have a real opportunity to win against the Zeri, and most likely Zeri-Lulu matchup, um, which we'll get into later. Um, and then after that, it was under 10 matchups. If Zeri was banned, we saw Lucian versus Sivir eight times. And if Sivir was banned, we saw Callista versus Zeri five times. So it really was Sivir, Zeri, Lucian, and then whatever the hell you wanted to pick if those weren't up. Uh, 23 bot laners, so we saw some MF, we saw Senna, I think Ezreal was the last champion added to the list. Um, so, clearly, leave the AD carries alone. Um, we saw in the LEC that a couple would get banned, and that's why we saw Caitlyn yesterday as well. Um, I mean, that's kind of how bot lane went. Support, 22 matchups, um, well, 22 different supports picked. We saw a, um, oh, actually, no, that was in 12-14, sorry, I was going to say Zyra, but that was 12-14. Um, I believe, right? Wasn't that panic picked? Yes, it was. KT panic picked it. Um, support. So, most common matchup. This is the Enchanter meta. It's still sticking around. Um, Lulu versus Yumi 20 times. Yumi winning 12. Nami versus Lulu. So, if Yumi's banned, it was Nami versus Lulu the same amount of times. Nami coming out ahead 13 to 7. Nami versus Yumi. So if Yumi was up and you want to pick Lucian Nami into the matchup of likely um, Zeri Yumi or Sivir Yumi, um, Yumi came out ahead 8-7. to seven. So it was actually kind of coin flip between Nami and Yumi. Um, and then if Yumi was not paired with the Zeri, we see that Lucian had the edge, which is pretty, it's actually something we've noticed over time here. that It's not necessarily Zeri, it is Yumi that's the problem. Zeri is a problem, but Yumi is a much bigger problem. Um, and uh, hopefully Yumi gets nerfed into the ground. Um, and then lastly, if uh, 
you waited till second rotation, more than likely, for a support. Nautilus versus Lulu happened seven times. So it is an Enchanter meta through and through. We've seen a couple engaged champions picked lately. Um, we've seen some Leona. We've obviously seen some Nautilus, a couple Brahms. I really hope that, um, and obviously Brahm is not engaged, but it is not Enchanter, which is what we're trying to get away from, right? So um, hopefully that kind of moves over. Because this is pretty stale. We know what this is, okay? It's Sivir, Zeri, and then Lulu, Yumi, and what do you want to do with that? And oh, geez, someone got, somebody's getting frisky with Lucian, Nami, and bot lane. Like, literally, this is just, just, bot lane is pretty, like, okay, handshake, and then people get creative with how they want to play the solo lanes. So, that's it for um, the look back at 1215. Like I said, later this week, we're going to look at um, all of summer cumulatively. Um, I also, well, that'll be, that's the only video related to this, right? A couple other champion videos will be planned for worlds and be worlds related. If you missed my video earlier today, I went over mad lions. I have a world's 2022 playlist. If you'd like to go over that, um, world's 20, uh, I looked at patch 1217. If you want to watch that video, I think that's a video. Well, I don't know if I'm going to have 1214 or that video around me right now. I'm just all over the place. Thank you for watching. Become a YouTube member. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Uh, like the video. And thank you for watching.